Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would do an outfit of the night, show you guys what I've been wearing lately, and also talk about my makeup um, and how I did it and all that stuff. So let me go ahead and get started. I do want to apologize. I know I have not made a video in quite some time, um, and I'm very sorry about that. It was kind of just a lot of things going on. Um, we lost somebody very close to our family, and so we've just kind of been dealing with that, um, trying to move on to, you know, just life in general, um, but that's it. I will stand back there and show you guys what I'm wearing, like I said, and then come and tell you about my makeup. Cracker. I am wearing, I've got on um, my shoes, they are from Target, let me see if I can take them off, okay, just some black sandals, they're by Prabal Gurung, they're from Target, um, they were the special collection, I think last summer, may have even been spring, I don't remember. Um, but these, I've been wearing these a ton lately. I've worn them actually more this summer than I have, like, since I got them, really. Um, so kind of crazy. And then these pants, which are from J. Crew, they are, they look like leggings, but they're actually structured pants, and they have this seam that runs down them, and then a zipper back here that's really, really nice, but they're just nice. I love them. I live in them, literally. They're just great, great pants. And they have, like, an elastic band up here. Um, that I'd like to tuck shirts into as well as leave them out of because I think they look really nice either way. Cracker, you cannot have that. You cannot have that. Okay, so that and then this shirt, which is a reversible cami from Express. I've shown these before. I love them. They are two layers of like a crepe chiffon. This one's black and it reverses to this taupe color, but I absolutely adore these. I've got four of them in different shades and I would really like to have all the shades. It's kind of crazy, um, but I really like them all. Let me just take this shoe off also. Okay, and then my white blazer from Express, which I wear all summer. I practically, I live in this thing in the summer, literally, um, summer and spring. It's just so fresh and clean and it just dresses everything up for the um, summer spring weather and even though it is like so hot even with this on I never feel hot does that make sense I still feel cool cool right okay um so yeah my blazer and then this necklace which my husband just got this for me um last weekend it is from House of Harlow it's gold with this kind of taupe it matches the same color of the shirt um but it's like a leather piece that's inside each one of these and it's just really really pretty it's edgy but it's dainty it's very light at the same time so it's really pretty it's by um nicole ritchie's house of harlow brand and i admired this in black and gold for a very long time as well as in white and gold um, and I just never kind of got around to buying it. And then my husband saw it and he liked this color and he thought, well, let's get that. So that's that. Um, my fifth anniversary ring and then my wedding rings on my nails. I've got Essie's um, Urban Jungle, which is the summer 2014 um, collection, which I really like. It's kind of a white taupe, if that makes any sense. It's like a white. It's not as white as like clean white, but it's not really an off-white either, it's got a taupe to it, but then the top coat that I put on it, the clear coat, had a little tint of pink because I had painted my toes red and I used the same one to do the top coat. So it's kind of got a tint of pink to it now um, because of the top coat, the clear coat. So yeah, there's that. Um, just my normal earrings and my watch that I wear. You guys have seen those like a ton. Um, and then on my face, let's see. I used the Studio Fluid, no, Studio Finish Fluid from Smashbox. I get it confused, I get it confused with the MAC one because it's like the same kind of, I'm sorry, it's the same basic terms. Um, but yeah, the Studio Finish Fluid, 
by Smashbox foundation all over the 15 hour wear and I absolutely love it. It's got a lot of um, pigment to it that kind of just cleans the skin up and makes it look really fresh and dewy and I really love that. That's where you get like this kind of glow from. Um, it's a little bit more of a dewy finish but a good dewy finish for oily skin if you have oily skin like I do. So I love that and then that's my foundation. On my eyes I've got, I did a layer of black eyeliner and it's just simple like Lorac um, cream liner. You can really use anything. Maybelline Eye Studio makes a really good one too. It comes in a pot and you just put it on with a brush. But I do a layer of that and then underneath before I start I use um, Sigma's pot in, I forgot the name of it, but it's just, it's like the Bare Study, the, the MAC Bare Study paint pot, but it's the Sigma one. Um, so I did that and then I put the eyeliner on top and then on top of that I used MAC's Havana eyeshadow, which is just a brown shadow, and then I blend. Um, and then just a little bit of black winged liner and then my lashes are Red Cherry number 43, which they look pretty when I look down. Um, you can see the real, the flare. They're really pretty. They're kind of skinny up here and then they flare out pretty dramatically at the end. But I love the effect that they give. They're just really, really nice. And then on my cheeks, I do have Chanel's Tan de Soleil Bronzer as contour. On here, I've got Max Pink Swoon as well as, what is that brand? Milani, the Baked Blush in Berry Amour. On my apples right in here. On my mouth, I've got, or my lips rather, Max Perwinza Chule, um, Wood Rose Luster Lipstick, which this is a really, it's a beautiful color. It came, came in a special collection this year, but it's very dupable. You can find this kind of shade everywhere. It's not like a 90s tawny shade, so it's not as brown as like a 90s lip would be, because um, that's really it. I actually wore that last night. I love that look. Um, so yeah, it's not as dark as that. It's a little bit more natural looking, um, but it's not as pale as like a nude lip would be. It's got a little bit of like a rose hint to it. So wood rose is really pretty. There's that one. And what else did I do? Oh, I did use a little bit of a highlighter just right in here and then down the center of my nose. And I used Spotlight. I believe it's Lorac Spotlight. Um, it comes in a little ooh, compact. I think it's called Spotlight or Spot something or the other. I'll put it down below. So that is what I have on my face. Hope you guys have done well. I do apologize for not making any videos. Like I said, I've just kind of been in this, I don't know, limbo kind of phase in my life where I have not been into anything and I was all over the place um, for a little while. So yeah, that's where I am now. I've been doing um, T25. I have Turbo Fire and P90X from Beachbody, you guys know that, and I love them. But the T25 was kind of like a new challenge, and it's kind of like, can I get through this? And some of the videos are awesome, and I, you know, I kick butt at them, and some of them, like the abs one, just kill me. I mean, it's 25 minutes, and I just cannot wait to finish. It is so tough. Um, so I do that. I do supplement a little bit with other stuff like I do you know running and yard work and a bunch of other things that I feel like I get a better workout because 25 minutes is great if you're using that as your like weight training segment of your workout I think if you're trying to stay in shape or lose you know weight or anything you do need that added element of a little bit you know of cardio or a little bit longer fat burn so yeah I feel like I do need to supplement in some things but the t25 is doing great for days when I feel like all I can do is 25 minutes. It's awesome. Um, so I'm loving it so far, like I said. And that is it. That's kind of been where we're at. My daughter is going into the first grade, so she's officially a first grader, and she's loving every every day. I mean, just, you know, Mom, I'm going to be in the first grade. So she's excited. And we're trying to keep up with her learning over the summer, so reading and math and all that stuff. So I'm actively engaging her every single day in that. Summer is just kind of running its course through our family. Um, hot, but that's it. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.